For over a century, hundreds of thousands of people from across the nation and around the world have come to enjoy the annual spectacle of the Spring Cherry Blossom Festival. It's a spectacle that almost failed entirely to come into being. Efforts to plant cherry trees in the nation's capital dated back to 1885. But a quarter century passed without progress until Japanese officials asked to donate thousands of cherry trees as a symbol of the friendship between the two countries. In 1910, the first shipment of trees arrived in the United States but inspectors found them infested with insects and disease. All 2,000 trees were destroyed. Despite a potential diplomatic disaster, arrangements were quickly made to ship a new batch of over 3,000 trees to Washington, D.C. in January 1912. In March of that year, First Lady Helen Taft and the Viscountess Chinda of Japan finally planted the first trees. Descendants of those original trees still stand along the tidal basin, casting reflections of pink and white light. Walk leisurely underneath or simply stop and enjoy a few minutes relaxing by the water. Today, there are nearly 4,000 cherry trees planted around the tidal basin, along the Potomac River, on the grounds of the Washington Monument, and the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. A peak bloom, a carefully forecast event that also depends on weather conditions, is as stunning as it is brief. Finding yourself in Washington, D.C. during this short time is an experience to be cherished. <laughs>